so I'm getting more pigs. I'm super excited. I have um, never done this before. I have two pigs I'm learning on right now, but they are still in their training pen. And I just really feel for our property, which is mostly wooded, pigs are the best animals for us because you can raise them in the woods. So I had a friend reach out with an awesome opportunity to purchase eight pigs, three sows, three moms, and a boar, a dad, and five piglets. And the piglets are stinking adorable. So we molded over and we're gonna do it. We're jumping in. Instant pig farm. Here we go. So I'm learning as I go. I'm a city girl, wannabe farmer. So you can learn along with me. I watch lots of YouTube. I really appreciate Sheridan Park Farm and their YouTube videos. They have been super helpful. Um, learned a lot from them. So I love how farmers share their knowledge. Um, I also watch Justin Rhodes and So The Land. So those are some of my favorite YouTubers if you want to go check them out because they know a lot more than I do. So um, I went to, I have one day to do this. <laughs> so the people that have the pigs are moving out of state and um, they're sad about it, but they can't take their pigs with them right now. So they're selling them and I'm getting them all. So good for me, sad for them. Um, but we're super excited and we're going to uh, take really good care of their pigs. So I went to Tractor Supply and got most of the supplies this morning. They did not have the insulators I needed, so I found those at Southern States, thankfully. Oh, I see a rabbit. Wild rabbit, not my meat rabbits. <laughs> um, so what my plan is, it's cute, topping off, is to do um, two wire, two electric wire fence. So I'll show you my plan on that. Hopefully it goes well. I have never done this before. Right now I use Premier One Electric Netting, as you can see behind me. And I'll show you the training pen that I set up. I learned that from Sheridan Park Farm. And that's what I have right now. And my two pigs are getting ready to get kicked out of their training pen because I'm gonna put the mom and babies in there. <laughs> the puppy whimpers and the turkeys gobble. It's funny. So um, let me show you my training pen right now because that's where I started. So this is my training pen that I built out of cattle panels. Got T posts and a pallet for a gate. I happened to Oh, they just got shocked on the electric wire. Hopefully, <laughs> well, I hope they're trained on it because they're getting ready to go out on it. Um, had the pallet and had these posts left over from house construction. I did purchase the hinges and the latch and purchased the cattle panels and the insulators. And I had everything else. Their shelter is made from exterior, two, three exterior doors and two pallets, which I had. Um, so you can see here I got a step in post that's holding the two wires and insulators on the T post. And it goes all around. I got two wires all around. And I have one. Premier One Solar Energizer that's energizing the net and the pig's wire. And I have a jumper that you can see kind of goes just from one to the other. That's how they're connected. So that's how I'm able to use one energizer for all this fencing. I have two 164 foot uh, poultry nets that are connected together. So this is the training pen. This is where the puppy goes. The chickens can walk in and out of the training pen because I'm training the puppy to be a poultry guard dog. <clears throat> so he's doing really well. He comes out um, in the netting with me when I feed him in the morning and the evenings and he's doing really good. So these two pigs have been in here for a few weeks. 
and they're ready to come out and they will just be on the two two wires and they'll have a lot more space as you can see they have rooted up their training pin area so these are the type of posts i'm going to use i don't want to use the plastic ones because they can break over time i want something that's going to you know be used for a good while and um so these are like rebar with a little stake on the end i got these at tractor supply um, just so you know, Tractor Supply matches all their stores. So if you have a Tractor Supply that competes with a Rural King, we have that um, a few cities away. And so my local one will price match the cheaper price. So I got these for $1.99 a piece, even though they were two, $2.50 a piece at my store. They price match $1.99. Here's the energizer I got. I'm just going to plug it in. And the poly wire I'll be using. I got these reels just because YouTube, YouTubers said to get them, so I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to roll up the wire on two of those and um, see how this goes. So we got the pigs moved into their new area and they're enjoying it. Here they are. It didn't go perfectly, but we got them in there and everyone's getting used to their new areas.